Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in today's video I'd like to bring you up to speed on a very very interesting, very promising and also very early metaverse slash planar game called Green Rabbit. Now this game is on the Wax blockchain and Wax has a number of different games and also a few metaverse plays but one of the most interesting things about Wax is that on the Wax blockchain you don't actually pay a transaction fee for actions that you perform on the blockchain. Instead you need to stake a certain amount of Wax in order to obtain energy and you use that energy in order to pay for transactions. And in the case of Green Rabbit, when minting, something that you do in a crafting process that is part of a 2D game that has been out for a much longer time than the metaverse that you see here. And that is a browser-based 2D game that has as an end goal to craft an anima armor. And the anima armor is a very big part of this game. The characters that you see throughout the video here, that's actually different types of armor. Now the crafting process of making one of these armors is actually quite advanced and very very interesting. There's also a very very interesting backstory or a lore of Nanotopia which is this world that you see here. And I really do encourage you to go to Green Rabbit's YouTube page and check out the lore and all the tutorials and all the information about this game. Because I believe that if you are one of those people that are interested in these upcoming metaverse plays, uh, play and earn and uh, you want to be an early investor, maybe you want to be early in a project that seems like it's going to be a lot of fun to play, and this is one of those projects that I recommend you to check out, even though nothing in this video is financial or uh, investment advice. You need to do your own research into this and never ever invest more money than you can afford to lose. Now luckily with this game you can actually get the uh, crafting process going with less of an investment than what a normal game would cost. But not only that, everything that you see in this video you can do yourself for free just testing the game, uh, trying these anima races, that's what you see here. And yes, these anima races is the first of the game modes in Green Rabbit and it's also a very big part of the lore which I am not going to spoil for you. I was tempted to talk a little bit about it, but I think it's better that I direct you to the YouTube page of Green Rabbit and you can check it out for yourself because it's actually quite interesting. Now I also highly recommend you to check out and join the Green Rabbit Discord channel. This is where you have the majority of the core players that will help you out, guide you in, and answer any questions you have and uh, there's a lot of events happening, there's a lot of giveaways happening, there's a lot of prizes to be won as you have a chance to test this game. This is also of course a chance for you to get some Green Rabbit assets and uh, well among other things get the crafting and the staking going at least the first part of it. Now, the Green Rabbit community is a really funny bunch of people. There's a lot of uh, activities going on. We're having a lot of fun. And among other things, we recently realized that we could build or create um, this uh, human tower or nanotopian tower with just all us players getting on top of one another, standing on the very edge of the guy under us in order to let uh, the next guy jump up. And I think our record is 17, which obviously by the time you're watching this video can have already been broken. And unless I'm mistaken, that is me being number 17 on top of this tower. But I didn't actually properly check that, I could be mistaken. And again, at the time of making this video, one of the things that we are testing a lot is the movement of the characters in this game. This is why you see us uh, not only racing a lot, but it is also a very, very big challenge to get on top of one of these tall buildings here. There are few of us, as far as I know, that has actually succeeded getting up on top. Me, myself, I keep falling down every time I try it, but uh, eventually I will make it, I am convinced. So, uh, will you get it on top before me? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if that happens. Now, the links that you need to the Green Rabbit game, the YouTube page, the Discord channel, Twitter, and so on, will be in the description, so check that out. What is also worth pointing out is that the devs of this game 
are fully aware of the problems with bots and cheating and I guess that is an extra big problem when you can earn money in a game such as Green Rabbit so uh, I'll let you in on a discussion had an explanation from one of the devs that I overheard here in the metaverse and I'll share it with you guys right now yeah like a lot of like we're doing a lot of things where it's like just the amount of effort that would take to like program a bot to like recognize which one of the many different tiles it is and like do the optimum route and because it's not the same every time they'd have to manage their stamina like all this shit like to do all that like to program a bot that can like actually do all that it'd be like way more like if you have those kinds of skills it is way more lucrative to spend your time doing something else like you'd be like a like a straight up ai expert you wouldn't be spending your time like making bots for games yeah just find out that elon musk is in here making bots yeah he's like yeah uh i was gonna go to mars but botting green Rabbit something came up passion something came up so yeah let me explain one of the things he's talking about here he's mentioning something called tiles and what that is is that these maps are not static instead they change from time to time and there are seven different tiles already in this very early stage of the game and these tiles are always random so you never know until you uh, pass enough corners what tile is on the map that very race so not only does that make every race more interesting and more exciting, but it also makes it impossible for anybody to program a bot to run this race for them rather than actually playing the game. So that's a way to counter cheating and botting. And that's because Green Rabbit is one of those games that's going to be a play and earn game, not a play to earn game where you just basically click and wait, something that is apparently very easy to program a bot to do. Now, for obvious reasons, the Metaverse is also the place to go if you want to have an in-depth discussion about science, philosophy, geopolitics, and many, many other important things, as you will see here at the very end of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Hi! Puppy, puppy! Hi, mira cocaine, una culera! I'm goddamn. What's up, motherfucker? Vamos a ganar una carrera con los reales, vengan para acá. Bucky, 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 Bucky,